One of my many ideas was to create a way for people to read books on a cell phone. So in 2006, I co-founded Wattpad, a digital platform for aspiring writers to publish their works and for readers to read it all for free. Today, Wattpad is the world's most popular digital storytelling platform and it's grown into a global media platform, producing TV shows, feature films, and publishing books. My name is Alan Lau, and this is my Backs to Riches story. I was born in Hong Kong. I distinctly remember when I was maybe 11, 12 years old, my father bought an Apple II computer. The first application that I built was a puzzle game. It was a Mickey Mouse image. The application would kind of randomize it into like 16 pieces of puzzle and you move them around and then you, you can reassemble and complete the puzzle. For a 12 year old to not only play that game, but to build that game, it was quite something. I wasn't behind the immigration idea. We started to have that conversation like in the mid 80s when I was in high school. To move to a country takes a lot of courage, a lot of planning. They sold the condo that we had. They both quit the job, basically just pack up. And in July 1987, we moved to Toronto. This is the area that we landed because my grandparents were living in a house in this neighborhood and we were living there for almost a year. It was quite an adjustment. The language obviously was different. The culture was very different. The lesson that I, I learned, I would not take anything for granted. I try to hustle and I try to work hard and create my own future. The original idea of Wattpad was we recognized that a lot of people would be reading on a device that they carry all the time, and that's the mobile device. We also recognized that people would be sharing their, their, their writings freely on the internet. YouTube was one year old, Facebook was two years old, but keep in mind it was in 2006. It was before iPhone, before Android, and e-reading. Kindle didn't exist. We had the chicken and egg problem. Without any audience, without any readers, we don't have any writers. But without any writers, we would not be able to attract the readers. So the way we tackled that was we utilized our public domain books, Pride and Prejudice, Charles Dickens' works, Moby Dick. However, reading classic books on the mobile phone, we didn't know whether it would work or not. I remember when Alan first mentioned uh, about Wattpad to me, I was on my mat leave with my firstborn child. I still remember that look on her face. I was like, seriously, why would people do that? That look on her face was basically telling me, you're such an idiot. Why would people read on a phone this tiny, with no more than 15 lines? I was telling her we are going to do this mobile reading, user-generated content thing, and in a year, this company is going to be worth a billion dollars. I clicked when I saw the sparkle in his eyes. My father passed away already at that time. I didn't tell my mother because I think she would freak out. <laughs> so when he decided to really get Wattpad going, I said, sure, you know, we'll just go all in. Worst case, if we lose our house, we just start all from the beginning. My co-founder Ivan and I, we built the product, wrote this out, and see what happens. We were so excited when we launched, and we, we hoped that the first year we would have uh, a million users. And it turned out after a few months, uh, we had not even a thousand users. The first year of Wattpad certainly was a big disappointment. No one uploaded anything. We, we were struggling. It was so hard that I remember for a month, um, actually for many months, we got a check from Google uh, for the ad revenue. It was $2. <laughs> we even thought about, should we pull the plug? One of us was saying, well, you know, our hosting cost is only $5 per month. So we are $5 away from break even. Let's continue. 
the defining moments was the iPhone came out in the middle of 2007. It has a larger screen, you can read very easily. And around the same time, the first Kindle launched. So the concept of reading on an electronic device wasn't a foreign concept anymore. The industry trends was kind of helping us. That's when I get involved. I've worked in this industry for a long time. I knew what needs to happen in order for them to really get going. And two years after we started the company, the first writer uh, uploaded the, the first uh, fictional story on Wattpad. That was an incredible moment. It was a teenager writing a teenage romance story. Writers, when they write content, the only way to find audience was to go through a publisher. On Wattpad, you allow people to share their stories and no gatekeeper to say, nope, it's not good enough. And most importantly, it's the interaction. We also connect the readers and the writers. The readers, they can post their feedback. Oh wow, this story is so amazing, I can't wait for the next chapter. And that gave a lot of the motivation to the writer to, to keep going. Our writers would tell us, thank you for creating Wattpad, I've now found a voice. The number of writers and readers on the platform, they all grew exponentially. We had close to 90 million monthly users around the world, of which about 5 million are writers, and they share a million new chapters every day in 50 languages in every country around the world. I fell in love with the company once I understood that we were truly in the business of giving people voice and allowing marginalized voices to tell their stories, and stories that could never be found on bookshelves otherwise get read by millions of people online, it's so powerful. So in the year 2014, Out in the Blue, in Philippines, the third largest uh, TV channel called TV5, uh, they approached us. Why don't we, we partner? We are very good at production. Uh, and you are very good at finding the great stories. Why don't we produce a TV show together? And six months later, the TV show called Wattpad Presents, uh, it launched in Philippines, and that became the number one young adult show in the country. After this experiment in year 2016, we launched a division called Wattpad Studios. We have about a hundred projects that we are actively working on at any given point in time. TV shows in North America, a movie in Europe, or a show for a streaming service in Indonesia. In January 2021, Wattpad was acquired by Naver for over 600 million US dollars. It was a dream comes true. I am more than proud than anything of his own achievement as a person. It's also a testament to Canada. Canada is a place where someone who's an immigrant to the country can find success, raise money, can find incredible talent, then take it to the world stage. In 2014, I co-founded a venture fund called Two Small Fish Ventures. I've been investing in the tech ecosystem, kind of giving back through capital, but also through sharing experience to help other startup companies to grow. That's the whole idea of reinvesting our experience and capital in the next generation of tech giants. From start to sprout to scale to success, the four S's, experience is very unique and that's very, very impactful. That's what makes Canada like a center and be a leader in a world when it comes to innovation. I believe as an immigrant, giving yourself the financial optionality making sure you know what the upside is, but also kind of think about the downside, you know, thinking about these two extremes can help you plan. One advice to new immigrants is don't just mingle with your friends in your own circle, in your own culture, in your own language. Canada is one of the most inclusive, one of the most diverse uh, in terms of demographics. Just go out and, and mingle with other people in other ethnic groups or, or, or cultures. Assimilate the Canadian culture more quickly. There are so many things that we can learn from each other and this is one of the most amazing countries in the world to do that. When I look back, I'm so grateful to my parents who made the decision to come to Canada. It 
gave me the environment, it gave me the opportunities to become where I am today. I'm so grateful for that. My dad passed away nine months before I started Wattpad. I wish he could see that. And if he can see what we have achieved together, I think he would be really, really proud. It means the world to me.